This is the Truth Network. Hidden treasures of the 119th Psalm. Okay, we're going to dig into some knowledge today when it comes to the letter pay as we're in the fifth verse of the 119 Psalms um, pay section, uh, which the pay has to do, we've talked about the presence of God, God's face, or it may be anybody's presence actually, but in this case, we're, we're usually speaking about God's presence. And so, you know, what's some knowledge that we need to understand about God's presence? And, and one of the cool things here is we can see that the knowledge is found in his word. So if we uh, look at verse 133 in English, it says, order my steps in thy word and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. And so, you know, wow, <laughs> if this isn't some knowledge that we need to understand, uh, it's really a cool, again, he always plays with words in such a really, really neat way. And he, he does them as has to do with the letter pay. So the word steps is the way that the verse actually starts in Hebrew. And that word steps has to do with times, like, you know, how many times you did this and how many times you do that. And so if you're like me, you know, how many times a day do you, do you get into the word <laughs> or how many times a week? You know, I hope it's how many times a day. But it's pretty cool that he's, he's asking God to order these times that, it, that he spends in thy word. And the reason is, is that when you look at the word um, order, that has to do with sort of establishing. It really, based on the letters that are in there, um, has an idea of planting. And here's where the word play really comes in from my standpoint, is the word order is uh, the way it's lined up, almost spelled identical to the word iniquity. It's just that the two words have a different beginning letter. And the idea of order is is that of the desire for God's word versus the desire for uh, essentially evil, and both are getting planted. And so the idea is if I'm not planting, if I've got times during the day where I'm planting, you know, <laughs> good words in my heart, if I'm not looking for life there, then unfortunately life will find a way of planting iniquity in our hearts. Um, you don't have to listen to the news very long. <laughs> There's so many different ways that unfortunately that this uh, fertile ground that we have in our hearts will click quickly be planted by seeds that that can have dominion over us and, and so i think it's absolutely beautiful um because your heart is just searching for knowledge it just is and so by him ordering us or giving us times in his word you know we're planting the good seeds so the weeds don't take over essentially is what the knowledge is here if we get this knowledge of god then we don't have to seek other knowledge. And that's, you know, the beauty of, of that. But unfortunately, even that knowledge, if it's gone about the wrong way, can lead to trouble, as we see from the Pharisees and Sadducees, that if we eat too much from the tree of knowledge, you know, knowledge puffs up, but love builds up. So that's always an interesting challenge. And so when I looked at this verse, I thought about my own heart and my own searches for knowledge, because as we've talked about before, you know, when I was a young man in my early 20s, you know, I got involved in the Church of Scientology. My heart was looking for knowledge. Well, I don't know if you knew this, but the word Scientology itself means, you know, it's Greek for the study of knowledge. <laughs> and they are all about the study of knowledge. I don't know how much you know about Scientology, but I'll just give you a little bit of understanding about it is Scientology has everything to do with iniquity because it, there's all sorts of levels and there's all sorts of authority figures. In other words, you have to go through all these steps in order to get more knowledge or to be considered, you know, more above your, you know, fellow Scientologists as far as how much experience you have, how much training you have. You know, there's all these levels you might have heard of clear. Well, there's other levels above that. There's eight levels of OT. In other words, uh, when Ron Hubbard saw this, he used worldly <laughs> degrees of iniquity so that people could all measure themselves against themselves to, to figure out who's better than everybody else, and, and essentially with the idea that you can become godlike, as we talked about before. 
But the idea is my heart needed knowledge, and so I thought, well, I need to learn more about Scientology. The study of knowledge, they study Eastern religions and all sorts of other things in order to give you all these levels of higher, you know, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, consciousness, okay? And the, the problem is that obviously they all are taking you away from God. It's just, it's just weeds that are growing in your mind, right? And so we hear the psalmist is giving us the kind of knowledge that we need, which is to ask God to order our steps, our times in the Word. And, and I actually, you know, ask God every time as I dig into the Word, where do you want me to go? What do you want me to study today, even this morning, even these verses? And, and constantly as I'm looking at the Scripture that I'm looking for, I'm asking God to guide me because He knows <laughs> what's going to be the seeds that need to get planted and those that would end up being iniquity. And, and so it's a beautiful thing that here the psalmist is taking this idea of the pay of God's presence, which is clearly in his word, and asking God to order that in a way that the seeds that are right will be established in his heart. I mean, it's absolutely an amazing thing. And so thankful, uh, really, for this understanding of knowledge and, and how it can be a trick bag in so many different ways for those of us um, in the church so that we don't get puffed up, but that we, we, we have it with, with God's grace and understanding. Uh, um, it's, it's a beautiful, amazing thing. And I thank you so much for studying with me. And we're asking God, you know, order our steps in your word that not any iniquity, any iniquity have dominion over it.